So we turn it around to do all the stuff on the back. Yep. So today we're going to turn it back around and do all the, put the cats back in and then the secondary cats as well. We put Mimsy in there because this is going to be open header startup. This thing's pretty loud, so. Oh. So we just turned the car around and uh, put it up on jack stands to get these new cats in. So we just, these were literally just bubble wrapped when they were shipped. Um, so this one, as you can see, is supposed to be this one. And you can tell it is a smaller cat itself. Um, the uh, piece over here that kind of, this holds it in place as, as long as well as the three bolts, because this bolts to the header, exhaust manifold. And then you have this additional one which came off the block of the engine. So the piece over here, there's nothing that, I mean, we have the bolt that went in there. I mean, there's another bracket that goes over here when we get it in there and then that bolt holds it in. So we're gonna have to basically find a bolt, maybe a washer, cause this is a big hole to hold that piece on. And then the other thing is that this did get bent during shipping, as you can see. And then for this other one, it's the same story basically with this bracket. We'll have to find a nut to hold that piece on. But then the other thing is this one didn't come with any uh, of these things to, oh look, there's a little goose in here. So, I mean, I guess we could go uh, try and find some of these for this one. Mm, do that. But the only other thing that we, I guess we could do, uh, Miranda was saying, you know, to unscrew these from the old ones, I guess we could use the nuts that go on here, put two of them on there and kind of tighten them together. And then we might be able to break these loose and maybe use these on here because you can see these are longer than the ones that we need. Yeah, we'll just use these new cats and these secondary cats. And then um, we got new gaskets. These go for the, the secondary cats bolting to the primary cats. Then we also got the gaskets that bolt from the primary cats to the headers in the car. And I actually got this from uh, Advanced Auto Parts. Basically, they have different um, kits of these bolts and they come with the nuts as well. Um, and washers, which is nice. But the only thing is, if you're doing this as well and you know you need, because that's what we're basically going to use it is for here. This is a little different setup with the studs already in here and we still have the nuts that go onto it. So we'll probably use that stuff. But um, if you're looking for an assortment like this, just kind of look out for the grade because this is like a higher grade, um, which is better because these bolts are obviously going to get like really hot. So if you get a lower grade set, then I don't know if you'd have trouble with them when they get super, super hot since it is holding the exhaust system together. I think the next thing we're gonna do is maybe just try to get these studs unthreaded from these cats. And maybe we won't even use these. Maybe we'll just use the original yeah, studs. We need to make sure the nuts fit on the new ones anyway. Yeah. So right now we actually just been retapping all the holes where the studs go in and we got these new studs where are the ones that came with them so these are the ones that came with them and they were okay only one of them had them the other ones didn't uh, but as you see after we uh retap these these are able to thread in all the way and then i was actually thinking we could use the old nuts and maybe just screw them on the back to hold these in place make sure they don't move when we're tightening them down which they shouldn't really but as you can see now with these in here they uh they're about the same length as the way the stock ones were so they just weren't threading in right so 
just figured I'd tap these. And then after I tapped them, that's when uh, this stud went in all the way by hand. And the thing is, is like when we um, tighten down the nut on the end of it, I mean, you are screwing it to the right. So, you know, that's tightening it even more. But at the same time with the vibrations of the engine and everything, it could, the nut and the stud could work its way out. So that's why we had the idea to use the old nuts and just put them on the back of here on all of them just to tighten that down and make sure they don't move around at all. So, so yeah, we're just going to tap this last one on this cat, retap all of these, and then use all these new studs we got, which we just got them from uh, Advanced Auto Parts. So, yeah, this should work out. And then the only other thing we really have to figure out is with the new ones, this bracket over here. It's just a little different and we don't have anything on the back to hold on to it. So we'll finish this and then we'll get out of the car and get these in there. All right, so just got everything figured out and settled. So you can see how these are different, which actually this flex pipe almost looks a little stronger, more durable than this. Anyways, they're slightly different when it comes to like the location of this. This hole seems a little closer to the inside. So when we get this in there, we'll see how it works out. But as you can see, like the studs of the original one versus the new ones, uh, they're more the same length now. And you can see we just use the old, the old uh, exhaust bolts that went on this side to basically hold the stud in place on that side because these stuck through, which is kind of nice. We couldn't get this nut on here because of the way it's so tight of a clearance here. So we use one of the new ones on there. So basically on this side, we'll have one that has this one on the opposite side. And then on this one, same thing. You can kind of see how this isn't the same angle exactly. So once we get it in there, we'll kind of figure out what we got to do for that. But this one worked out nicely how we were able to snug these down on the studs on this side. So they should stay in place. So we're gonna do the driver's side first. You can see the uh, O2 sensor hanging there. And then where we're gonna put the uh, exhaust uh, catalyst, catalyst, catalyst converter, uh, just made it to the exhaust headers. And then that little hole right there is where that piece sticking off the cat should align to. So we'll see how that works out on this side. This, uh, the driver's side was a little easier because I could get access to that screw holding on to the um, cat from underneath here. But uh, on the passenger side here, you can see the O2 hanging and then where we got to bolt it up there. The only problem is where the, uh, that piece coming off the cat bolts to the engine, the, um, Differentials in the way here, so you can't get underneath. So we actually had to go all the way from the front of the car, that opening up there, and fish something through. So we'll see how this stuff lines up. Yeah, probably not gonna film it. We're just gonna do it. We'll film it once it's in there and show you what it looks like. But yeah. So when we went, put it in there, um, basically what ended up happening is see how this has it's cut straight. Um, you can see how this is rounded. The corner down here was actually hitting the block of the engine and couldn't actually make this all the way in. So just use my cutoff wheel and kind of cut the corners and use my sander and kind of just rounded it, rounded it smooth. So, uh, looks better now. And I think when we go back in, should go back in no problem. So it's been taking a little bit of modification, but it should work. Take two. <laughs> so we got it in there. It worked this time like this. Uh, I got these two nuts on, but before I put the third one on, I was like, all right. Problem was where the other bracket in the car lines up, it was like right here. So basically there was just this tiny section, which to put a bolt through wasn't big enough where the, where the holes overlap, because this one is a little further out, like we explained earlier. 
But Miranda did actually have a good point too, was that, you know, that cat is bigger. This one's a little smaller. So this did stick out higher. So that made sense, but it was still a little off. So what I did was just took drill bits, kind of drilled a small hole over here, made it bigger and bigger and bigger. And then basically to flatten out the sides, I just used this file. So now we're gonna put it in for like a third time. See if everything lines up. And hopefully this time we can bolt everything down. All right, so we just got the catalytic converter in there. Uh, from the front of the vehicle over here, is where I uh, got access to all three of the nuts that go around the studs. And we torqued those all to 30 Newton meters. And then when we come under here, Miranda, yeah, you can see the bolt and nut we chose to go through the brackets. There were 17 millimeters and we just snugged that down by hand. So, yep, got it all in there now. The only thing left is just to get the O2 sensor in there. And then we got the driver's side done and then we'll go to the passenger side. So we just finished the driver's side catalytic converter. Uh, from underneath, I was able to thread in the oxygen sensor. Um, before threading it in, I kind of turned it the opposite way because if you just start threading it in, the wires are kind of going to be like kind of twisted. So I kind of like reverse it before threading it. That way, when by the time it threads down, the wire is pretty much in a neutral type of position. Then we used our extension up to here and tightened it down to 50 Newton meters. And then with the, the passenger side catalytic converter, it was the same story. Basically, the way that this comes out straight, it's kind of squared off. It was hit inside of the engine. I couldn't even get these studs in the header. So basically, had to just, yeah, there's barely anything left. Did the same thing where I kind of drilled in further. That way we can still get the bolt through the other bracket on the engine and utilize this. It's probably gonna be kind of tough, but yeah, now we're gonna get back under there and see if this fits now. All right, so yet another update. Basically tried to get it in the way it was and it was still too far, even with that little bit. Still hitting the engine, still couldn't, I could get single ones in here, but it wouldn't line up where all three could go in. So just cut it straight off, then used my sander to kind of round the ends so it's not too sharp. And see, luckily uh, we drilled back into it. And when we put the bolt, you know, through the other circle, the piece that's attached to the engine, I mean, it's still gonna hold onto this. It's still gonna be functional, but it's no longer like a circle because it was just too big. So we're gonna try one more time to get in there. <laughs> well, we finally got it in there. Um, bracket. Lindsay's chilling with us. <laughs> I think she's had enough of this. I don't know if y'all can really pick that up on camera, but uh, you can kind of see like where that bracket is touching the other one. And yeah, we're going to try to bolt this all up and see what happens. All right, so we just finished uh, getting this side together. I mean, we ended up getting it to work. We just had to use washers on top of washers, but it's all in there. The O2 sensor is plugged in up there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we just have the pipes coming down here on the other side. Well, what do you think? Fire up. Uh, I think that was should have been easier than it was. Or at least we thought it was going to be easier than it was. I guess that's what you get when you order off-brand aftermarket catalytic converters. We put Mimsy in there. <laughs> yeah, if we ordered the Porsche ones, I mean, 
that would have been easy, but I have no idea how much those are. I mean, I feel like it could probably be double the price, like 500 for each side. We put her in there because we're about to start this up because I'm kind of curious what it's going to sound like without the open headers now, but at least just the cats. At least we made it work, but yes, it was a pain. So. <laughs> It's still gonna be loud. Though. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> still hasn't thrown a check engine light so maybe it's because we didn't really do any drive cycles I mean I don't really smell that it's as rich as mm -hmm. it was with the open headers yeah. but yeah thanks for watching this video I mean I hope it was helpful to anybody that might replace their own cats I mean yeah it's definitely not easy and it's definitely easier if you have someone helping you me and Miranda we managed though it came out pretty well but yeah, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out and we appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.